precautions when using medical devices. That if you do use a neti pot, for instance, you should be very aware that it has to be absolute sterile water or sterile saline. Now, most cases of brain-eating amoebas have been found in places like California, Arizona, and Texas. But Dr. Cops did say that over time, because of climate change, the amoeba could learn to live in cooler areas like here in Washington State. I know on the neti pot itself, mm -hmm. like it says, you have to use the sterile water, right. like mm -hmm. the doctor said, or some sort of a saline, saline solution. Yes. Yes. Uh, but I've talked to multiple people today who say they have used tap water once or twice, and that once has them or concerned. twice is okay. But this patient used it for a year, so it could have been on a weekly basis, but it was just a little too much, too consistent, wow. and she was exposed. Did they talk about what her symptoms were, like how she knew that something was she wrong? She had a seizure. Okay. Yes, I did mention that yeah. she had a seizure, okay. and that's how they they had. They they Thought performed it was a, brain a surgery. Yeah, they performed right? formed a surgery on her, and okay. that's how they discovered it. And okay. because it's something that is just so rare, it's not yeah. like the obvious diagnosis yeah. that they would be looking for, I guess. No, not at all. But she also had a rash on her nose, mm -hmm. and um, they just misdiagnosed it. They didn't know. It's right. not something that you would be normally right. looking for. So they just thought she was, you know, having some sort of sinus issue, mm -hmm. and um, until she had the seizure, they okay. couldn't figure it out. All right. all right, rare but good warning. Thank you. Coming up, Olympic.